We are revisiting dispersion and we've come up with this cool idea. Let's jump right in and do this. LD as requested from the comment section. So you're going to go to your elements and you're going to search for D. Take the basic D and L and add them to your design. You don't necessarily have to use these graphics. You can create your own graphics, but you just need to make sure that they are PNG and they're editable and the color can be changed to what you want. So I'm happy with L and D. You're just gonna size them a little bit and make them nice and big, but they should be the exact same size. And then you can color them any color that you want. I absolutely love this blue and the orange. So I'm gonna try shocking orange and shocking blue. So let's go with orange. And then with our D, let's go with this bright, beautiful colors. And then you can close that section so that you have enough space. Next, you're going to go back to your elements and you're going to search for splash. You type splash. There are two splashes that we're going to be using from a graphics section. And I'll give you the names of these two. This one is called Unentitled by Creature SH from Pixabay. So you click and you add it to your design and you are going to then start aligning this as a splash in orange and white to have a beautiful design. So it has a color that's editable. So you're going to change the color and make that white. And you're going to start doing the dispersion with these beautiful dots and you're gonna rotate and start adding them to the design. You're gonna duplicate and duplicate and then go back and duplicate. It depends on how much of the white you want because it's going to create holes in here, which is quite fun. Then you're going to change the second one and go back to that orange color and start having the splash this way. You can always reduce it increase it so that it splashes from the L. Cool. Select your L and change the corners to a rounded corner so that it gives a beautiful design that way, like that. And then you can do exactly the same with your D. Change the corner rounding so that it, it is also rounded. Okay. Great stuff. Next, you're going to go back to your splashes and you're going to search for this splash that's called Black Splash Illustration by Clicker Free Vector. So add that to your canvas so that you're able to start splashing your D. So you're going to reduce the size of it. Change the color of it and make it white. and adjust it to your D. And duplicate that. And then use this first split and change the color to blue and start adding it on here. Once you've, you're happy, you can align them and group them to each other and then you can add text or the name of the business so you press t for text and you can use a nice font like open sans i'm looking for n that i could manipulate and change color so let's see this n is Definitely something you could change color. We're going to crop the color out of each one. So
cool stuff that's it we're done we're gonna click on share and we're gonna download our design as a transparent background png because it has the white splashes and white shapes we are going to take those off we're gonna go to remove.bg then you access the design from your downloads you load it to remove.bg takes off our whites and we're super excited we click on download and when we open it up it should have gaps and beautiful spaces that way perfect then we're going to go to photop.com and we're going to use a beautiful template to showcase our work you can always use mock-ups from canva or whatever you would like to use i just like photo p we'll then select to open the template and click on the link to open it up double click where it says your logo here as and then hide the designer's example size it and make it nice and big and then press ctrl s or command s on on mac and then click on the first link and voila your design done and dusted beautiful and gorgeous if you enjoy these types of tutorials, go visit our playlist to get more ideas. Thank you for joining me. I will see you with our next video.